Uh, we begin with that breaking news, the deadly crash in San Jose, which was witnessed by more than a dozen San Jose Unified students who were on board that school bus. NBC Bay Area's Bob Riddell is live from the scene in San Jose where the football player was killed just blocks away from San Jose State's campus. Good morning to you, Chris. San Jose State University just confirmed to us that the 18-year-old man who was killed in this intersection behind me was Camden McWright. He was a freshman at San Jose State who played football for the Spartans. We are still waiting for confirmation from the coroner's office. McWright seen here on the school's website. He came from Silmar, which is in the Los Angeles area. We know that the school president was here at the scene and possibly some of McWright's football coaches as well. It was just before 7 this morning. McWright was on a rented e-scooter. He was riding down 10th Street as he crossed the intersection at Reed. He was hit and killed by a school bus from San Jose Unified. CHP is investigating this, not San Jose Police, but CHP, because this does involve a school bus, and that's something that they handle. An officer with CHP tells us a video camera on board the bus confirms that the bus had a green light as it entered the intersection here at 10th and Reed. The driver is cooperating. Uh, there were about 14 students on the bus, ages 14 to 17 years of age, who were offloaded and continued on to school. We spoke with a man who heard the collision. Just the impact from the lime scooter and the speed of the school bus uh, just made too much contact and ran over the kid. Um, had a couple kids, students on the bus as well, so I'm pretty sure they're pretty traumatized as well. But uh, yeah, it was a really sad, really sad engagement. We believe McWright is at least the 29th pedestrian to be killed this year in the city of San Jose, which is on track to set a new record for pedestrian deaths for a 12-month period. Within the past five minutes, San Jose State released some statements. I'm going to read one from the head football coach, Brent Brennan. He says, we lost an amazing young man tragically this morning. Camden had a bright future ahead of him, and everyone in this community that had the opportunity to spend time with him knew that. We are still trying to deal with the news of this tragedy and appreciate everyone's support during these difficult times. Our thoughts and prayers are with the McWright family, and I want them to know we are all here from them. There are counselors that are going to be uh, on campus today to help students deal with this tragedy. And as far as tomorrow's scheduled game at New Mexico State with the San Jose, San Jose Spartans, that is now pending. Reporting live here in San Jose, Bob Riddell, NBC Barry News. It was just such a senseless tragedy. Thank you, Bob.